Hello everybody, I'm Emma Central and welcome back to another episode of OMSI 2 where in this video you join me back in the HK world on New Territories East a map that came out mid last year based off the Typo project and all of those sorts of maps that we drove Route 71 and all of that lot in and it's now been expanded, there's a lot more routes in it and you join me today in that map for the first time so as you will see in front of you is an unusual bus, it's a bus you will not have seen me driving before. That's because it is a new release. This is the Leyland Victory Mark II vehicle. A vehicle that was quite a staple part of um, sort of the Hong Kong bus industry for a period of time. It's been a vehicle that has sort of been in the works for OMSI 2 for a fair bit now. I don't know the full origins of the vehicle, I have sort of seen screenshots of it in work in progress, in development, and now it has been released to an extent. As usual with these vehicles, with how they are released, and all of that lot, I am going to have to check through the sort of how, how it's been released, make sure that all the permissions have been given before I provide a download link for you all. However, as and when I downloaded this bus, that was a week or two ago, um, it was all uploaded and things, so we're going off that release. So today we are going to be taking a spin on route 272A, that is a KMB route, so we are branded up correctly. From here, that is the University Station, up to Mayfair by the sea, a route duration of approximately 10 minutes. So what we'll do is before we set up the vehicle, we'll have a little look around, and just on a base look, the interior looks quite nice. I mean, the camera view is a little bit sort of further back than it probably should be. But the camera views are very, very nice on this vehicle. I mean, it is a basic sort of modelling structure, but it is still quite nice. And note the 2 plus 3 seating on the upper deck. We also have our usual zoomed in views that are always a pleasure and the joy to sort of use on these vehicles. And then if we go into the cab area, the cab area is very, very basic. However, it's still quite nice. Something that I really like about this bus, and it reflects off the real life model, is like the Volvo Aelza, the sort of Leyland Victory you will notice is a very very similar design to the Volvo Aelza. And one thing that is very very similar is this, where the driver sort of enters the vehicle and exits the vehicle from his or hers side door. That on this vehicle open and closes like the window. That is pretty cool. So we'll get that shut and we will set up the vehicle. So the sounding is okay on this. I have had a little test drive before I drove it just to make sure it was worth us having a little drive bit in the game. Um, and it is very, very nice. I mean, the sound mod's okay. I can understand the limitations as there's not many of these still around anymore. So I do understand the limitations on getting sounds, especially at the moment. But it is alright. So something else to note as well is as you can see the models here is the engine. And you will be you'll notice that the engine is louder here than it sort of is back here, or should be. And that's because this vehicle is one of the sort of the, the early types of vehicles, again, very similar to the old Wales where the driver sits on top of the engine. So it is pretty cool. So you will notice this isn't the best of the best models, as you can see the steering wheel probably isn't. I, I thought, to be fair, I say with the steering wheel, they probably isn't, they probably, they were probably like that in the real world, saying how old these buses are. So it isn't exactly lined though, and you notice that the detailing isn't sort of the ADL E400 by GX Studios. It isn't like that, but it's still quite nice, and it still represents an era of the sort of Hong Kong bus industry that hasn't been get the blinds loaded in. Unfortunately I don't have the, black, the bright blinds files and for this as of yet. So I do apologise about that. I'll we'll get to have the lights switched off and I'll run in the daytime running. So this vehicle really does remind me of the Volvo Wales, and I mean, as soon as I spawned it in, it was pretty much that. 
that, and, and to be fair, from the research I've done previously into these vehicles, it really it just gives off with all the whales and vibes. So I understand that the Leyland Victory wasn't a vehicle that ever hit the UK market. Quite unique, really. And I understand, I don't know if it... Now, now I say that, I think it did hit... It may have hit the single-decker market. The sort of the chassis will have done. The chassis probably hit the market in a different sort of style. Okay, let me go. Around the bow. Oh no, no, okay. Change your mind. I do. So the, I think that the Leyland Victory sort of reached the UK market, the chassis wise, but it was never on this bodywork style. So it was never a double deck bodywork style that was unique to KMB and sort of Hong Kong. So as you can see sort of in front of us, there's a few stuff that seems to be mirrored in the wrong way with that sort of five by Hong Kong dollar um, sign sort of in the opposite way around to what it should be being mirrored. But I think on the whole it is a nice boss. Change the gears. So it is alright, and as I say, this is our first video on New Territories East. Do expect us to be returning here. This is going to probably be our Hong Kong sort of focused map that we do sort of videos on for the next couple of weeks. So I'm going to, this is sort of me slowly bringing back the HK sort of vehicles and content. Because it's something that I just haven't done for a while. It's just weird because I've had this map installed for ages now, and I just haven't driven it. So I just loaded into one to two, I was like, oh, what map should we have got to drive on? I looked at this and it loaded up, I was like, oh, we'll drive that then. Because you totally forget your habits, sometimes you end up getting stuck in sort of the same, driving the same couple of maps over and over again. And don't get me wrong, they are love the maps. But you do forget sort of the variety that is available within on to two. You, you can, it, it's something you can very easily forget. I also love the carpet being on the roof as well. And um, it reminds me of the transdev buses, the old sort of Blazefield era where they bought the Volvo B70 on President and Beat and Billy Renowned and they all had sort of carpet on the roof that I just thought was so cool. It was basically the seat for kept but it was on the roof as well that was just pretty cool. I mean it, it, it won't have been won't have been easy to sort of clean and vacuum and all of that lot but I, I still love it, little quirky things like that and we do have a small, a very, very small number of vehicles still in the transit fleet with the carpet groups. Groups, very, very small number now. Hey, AI, if I remember to say. So they, they are dwindling on, on numbers now, but it's still, it's still very, very nice when you see them every So I do have as well this vehicle. The, this vehicle came with the great Rundorf 2 events. I'm just going to pull over here to hopefully sort out the gears. And plus also the sound, I want to sort of reset the sound on it because I think it's because I plunked into that gear instead of plunking straight into drive because I thought I'd work through the gears. It doesn't like that. There we go. We'll get that sorted. So I can't imagine, as I say, with the Transdev. Um, sort of seat maquette on the roof. I can't imagine that being easy to clean. That would be an absolute nightmare. And I know that they're sort of improving with things, but it is nice, that little bit of nostalgia. It is really, really nice. Little bits of nostalgia. It's something I'm hopefully going to do in spring. Sort of go over there and spend the day on their plaques and presidents. How many, depending on how many, they, they've still put out on a daily diagram now. They'll do that. It seems to be quite a quiet run at the moment. It really does. I'm not complaining though, I'm quite a run is a happy one. But yes, as I was saying, I do have, um, well this bus came with a great run of two repaints. So if it would interest people, I'm quite happy to have a little drive of this on a great run of route as well. Make most of the repaints, the repaint pack that were given. I think this is weird, are we? 
certainly need to drive a few more of them. It's like I've got a few quirky vehicles still, I've got the Volga and all of that lot. So we'll start bringing those buses back again, having some drives of them. As you, you all enjoy sort of watching videos with me, with me driving them. And I enjoy driving the buses, so we may as well. I love these sort of modelling around here. This is so much of a better map compared to the original release. Seriously is. Just look at the detail. It is really nice. So what I'll do is because I'm ever so slightly blocking those vehicles from getting past, I'll back it on in. So yes, that was our first look at the Leyland Victory Mark II. One of the latest releases for OMSI 2 from the HK community. We'll open door. There we go. We'll open doors. I understand that it's like with the Aleses as well, and I know with these victories, during the summer and the sort of warm weather then, drivers would commonly keep the side door open. So a little cool, quirky features like that. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was quite a nice um, bus, is this? Quite nice to drive. And if I can, and I'll, I've obviously got to check everything before I upload it, and, and I'll not upload it, but before I sort of give the link out. But as soon as I've sort of checked all the links, I will link it in the description below, um, and you can download it and drive this vehicle yourself, as it's one of the ones I do recommend. I'm going to be honest, as soon as we went into the video, I was a little bit sort of, like, I don't know, apprehensive is probably the best word, to see what this bus was like is it is quite a basic oldie sort of styling model but it is very very nice i think to say what it is and to say it's a basic vehicle it is absolutely lovely so yeah i will link it in the description below i do hope you've all enjoyed book 272a as well um do click the like button if you have enjoyed this video so that more people can find it and enjoy it like you have and if you are new to the channel hello and welcome if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like this do consider subscribing for more content like this from both the virtual bus world and the real life bus industry as well. So do give your route suggestions in for New Territories East and this bus on what maps you want to see this bus on. And until then, I will see you all in the next video I make. Goodbye for now. Bye.